Welcome to another edition of the SSC TV3 News. We are more than news. We also televise programs, events, and archives that are the lifeblood of our community. Today is Friday, November 16th, 2018. I am Chloe Clark, your host for today, and these are our features. Number one, Air Capital Comic Con. Number two, A Square Christmas. And number three, SAFE. We televise this program live at 11 a.m. Tuesday and Friday and upload it to YouTube right after the show. If you cannot watch us live, you can still watch the show at your convenience at ssctv3.org. Also, please share our news and features on your social media. This will help us grow and enable us to serve you better. We have viewers citywide, statewide, and worldwide who are keeping up with the happenings in St. John. We also welcome press releases and contributor pictures and videos. Send them to ssctv3 at gmail.com. If you have videos that are too large to attach to our email, bring them by the studio on a flash drive so we can transfer them to our video editor. Here now is a list of some of the sponsors that make this program possible. School announcements. There are only two more days of school before Thanksgiving vacation. To those students watching this telecast, be brave. School will resume on Monday, November 26th. Tonight will be trivia at Tiger Town Pizza. The excitement begins at 6.30 p.m. Form a team of friends, family, or play by yourself. The top three winners will earn prizes. This activity is hosted by the St. John Hudson Scholar Club. A portion of all sales will be donated to the Quiz Bowl team. Some superheroes are fast and faster than a speeding bullet. Some use the force, and yet other dangle from spider webs. This last weekend, however, the mode of travel for the St. John Comic Club was not quite so spectacular. The members simply drove to Wichita in a conventional automobile. How boring! But once they got there, the day was anything but boring. The Air Capital Comic Con was a comic book convention on Saturday and Sunday, November 10th and 11th at Century 2 in Wichita, Kansas. And the St. John Comic Club was there. They were able to browse dozens of vendors who were selling vintage comic books, stylized characters, jewelry, clothing, and trading cards. They were able to observe, visit, and learn from comic book artists who were giving autographs and demonstrating how to draw comic characters. They were able to enjoy arcade games, and finally, on the last day, attendees were treated to a costume contest. Public Service Announcements This year's flu vaccinations are now available at the Stafford County Health Department.
It is located at 610 East 1st Street. If you are interested in being part of the Cub Scouts as a scout or a leader, call Becky Reed at 620-546-3203. The month of November is Scouting for Food Month in the St. John community. Your local Boy Scouts of America Troop number 354 and Cub Scout Pack number 354 will be accepting donations of non-perishable items for the St. John Food Bank. If you wish to donate items, call 620-546-3203 to arrange for a pickup at your doorstep or to take your items to White's Food Liner. When we return, we will talk about Christmas in St. John. Many of you would like to win a hoverboard. The Stocking Stuffers of Central Kansas just happen to have one. The organization is gearing up to hand out some fun prizes at the annual Stocking Stuffers of Central Kansas Soup Luncheon on Sunday, December 2nd at the IOOF Lodge. Get your tickets now at any SJN Bank location or talk to Rachel Fisher or Hannah Salee Tickets for this drawing are $5 each, or five for $20. You do not need to be present to win. If you need some stocking stuffers, come by the city office for a 2018 Jubilee t-shirt, button, or cup. A Cruise of Scare glass is also available. All proceeds support the Jubilee Fund. Christmas Around the Square is coming soon, and the gals in the city office are busy putting up the final touches on some new park decorations. Meanwhile, the guys are putting the final touches around the square. What a team! Well, thank you for putting, up, putting in the extra time above and beyond all your normal duties. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, around the square, that is. It is hard to believe that this second annual Christmas event will be here in only nine days. Although our city boys don't look much like elves, they are quickly turning our downtown into a winter wonderland. We can look forward to a vendor market, the Christmas joy raffle, a Christmas tree contest, luminaries, caroling, Santa, a Christmas story reading, the Fireman's Auxiliary Annual Soup Supper, and of course, hot cocoa, and cookies. In five, count down, four, three, two, one. The Delp Christmas Tree Farm will open on November 23rd and 24th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. On November 25th, it'll open from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. After that, the regular hours will be 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, and 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Sundays. The Senior Citizen Turkey Dinner will be Wednesday, December 5th at 11.45 a.m. at the Stafford County Annex. Please bring a salad or a dessert. There will be prizes and entertainment. Call 549-6548 to make a reservation or sign up at the Recreation Commission or the Sunflower Center. Safe can be a baseball term or a place to put valuables, but on Wednesday, it meant something completely different to the students of St. John High School. 
Wednesday morning was a safe morning in St. John High School. Typically, when we think of safety, we think of freedom from danger. But in this case, SAFE, S-A-F-E, stands for seat belts are for everyone. After a general assembly led by Police Chief Kirk Ives from Oxford, Kansas, there were four breakout sessions called stations that were led by representatives from law enforcement and emergency medical services. The first station was a driving simulator led by Captain Justin Noel from the Cherokee County Sheriff's Department. Students participated in a hands-on activity demonstrating the dangers of texting and driving. The second station was filled with more hands-on activities demonstrating impaired driving. Students with the aid of special goggles stumbled, pedaled, and wobbled through many ordinary physical tasks. The session was led by Master Deputy Eric Fisher from the Ford County Sheriff's Department, St. John Police Chief Jim Couday, St. John Officer Bill Elliott, St. John Officer Eric Smith, and the Kansas Highway Patrol Trooper Kellen Parr. The third station was more serious. It was a question and answer session led by Kirk Ives in response to the opening session. The last station was a graphic and emotional presentation concerning fatal and injury accidents. Several heart-rending stories were presented that were hard to listen to, but were tragically local and true. The session was led by paramedic Misty Blakesley, EMTs Michelle Houston and Davin Graves, RN Don Westfall, Principal Blaine White, and parent Michelle Fisher. At the end of the day, the students signed a pledge to be safe with their driving, because unlike a video game, when reality says game over, there is no reset. If you have items that need to be announced on TV3, or you have an event that would benefit from video coverage, we would like to hear from you. Send us your items or video request to ssctv3 at gmail.com. Give us a little lead time and we will be there. Please help our channel better serve you with quality and informative programming. We have a lot of good stuff happening in our area and our goal is to bring these activities to those who cannot attend them. Keep us informed, and we will keep you informed. Thank you for watching.